فقال تبارك وتعالى الله سيد عبدي أذنب ذنبا my servant has sinned فعلم أن له ربا يغفر الذنب ويأخذ بالذنب but he knows that he has a Lord that forgives sins and punishes on account of sins again the servant the servant ثم عاد فأذنب he sinned again and here's a very important point. None of us should feel shy of repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal. Because shaitan comes to a person and says, you should be embarrassed that you're going to repent again. How many times have you done this sin? And that's why when it was mentioned to Al-Hasan al-Basri rahimahullah about an individual that is shy because they sin and then they repent. And they sin and then they repent. Al-Hasan al-Basri said what? He said, the shaitan, the devil, wishes to achieve this from you. The devil wishes for you to have this mentality that I'm embarrassed to repent. The devil would love that. And Al-Hasan, he said, فَلَا تَمَلُّوا Never get tired of repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal. Never get tired. Regardless of how many times a person sins. To the extent that Al-Allama Al-Nawi Rahimahullah He said in this hadith There is a proof That if the sin Even if it is repeated Even if the sin is committed a hundred times He said Or a thousand times Or even more than that But the servant repents every time Then his repentance will be accepted And the sin will be removed from them Subhanallah, look at the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. He said in this hadith that we are mentioning, there is the benefit that if a sin was repeated a hundred times, he said rather, or a thousand times, or even more than that, but the servant every time repented sincerely to Allah, then Allah Azza wa Jal would accept their repentance. So the servant, Naam, the third time, فعاد فعاد فأذنب returned back and sinned again but he said again أي رب اغفر لي oh my lord forgive me أي رب اغفر لي ذنبي oh my lord forgive me for my sin again الله عز وجل الرحمن الرحيم التواب the most merciful the bestower of mercy the one who accepts repentance, Allah Azza wa Jal, He said, فَقَالَ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَ أَذْنَبَ عَبْدِي ذَنْبًا فَعَلِمَ أَنَّ لَهُ رَبًّا يَغْفِرُ الذَّنْبًا وَيَأْخُذُ بِالذَّنْبًا My servant has sinned, but he knows that he has a Lord that forgives sins and punishes on account of sins. اِعْمَلْ مَا شِئْتْ فَقَدْ غَفَرْتُ لَكَ Subhanallah, look at that. Allah said, do as you please for I have forgiven you. What does that mean? Who can tell me? What does that mean? Do as you please, Allah Azza wa Jalla said, for I've forgiven you. Ma ma'ana hada? La bud dan yufham bi fahmin sahih. That has to be understood correctly. Ma dam, the meaning is qareeb. Ma dam annahu yatub min dhanbihi kulla marra. As long as he repents from his sin on every occasion, then Allah will forgive that individual. The meaning is, if this person or any one of us, if we live our life like that, that if we were to sin, we repent to Allah, fulfilling the conditions of repentance. Not Tawbat al being the repentance of the liars. They say, Astaghfirullah. They, they, they say, I ask Allah for forgiveness. Now with their tongue, but in their heart, they are intent in continuing upon the sin. That's Tawbat al kadhabin That's the repentance of the liars. No, the one who repents with a sincere repentance, after they sin, now we know repentance wipes away the sin. And the one who repents is like the one who has no sin. So yes, if someone lives their life, when they sin, they repent. When they sin, they repent. We understand the hadith 
When Allah said, I'mal ma shit, do as you please, faqad ghafartu lak, as I've forgiven you. And that is one of the meanings, brothers and sisters, that the scholars, they mention fa al awwab the one who often returns to Allah Azza wa Jal. When Allah said, wa uzlifati al jannatu lil muttaqina ghayra ba'id, hadha ma tu'aduna li kulli awwabin hafid. When Allah Azza wa he said the meaning being, paradise is near for the pious. This is what you have been promised for every person who is awwab, meaning often returns to Allah. Some of the salaf they said, this is the person that when they sin, they repent. And when they sin, they repent. Meaning they never get bored of repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal. And I'll close with this inshallah. And Shaykh Abdul Ila Allah, he can continue with his talk. An important point, brothers and sisters. And I advise myself and I advise you, especially the younger from amongst us. But this is not only specific to the younger from amongst us. Rather, even some of the elders are falling into this. Beware of exposing our sins and our shortcomings on social media, on Instagram or TikTok. Yes, we all have deficiencies. May Allah forgive us and pardon us. None of us are perfect. But there's a difference between the one who sins in private and asks Allah to forgive them and the one who exposes their sins. Who said so? This is what we find in the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Kullu ummati mu'afa illa al-mujahirin. All of my nation will be forgiven except those who openly expose their sins. When we hear the like of that, all of my nation will be forgiven except those who openly expose their sins. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained what this meant. What is al-mujahara? That a person wakes up in the morning telling people, I, did, I committed such and such. And Allah Azza wa Jal concealed their shortcomings. So if we have shortcomings, that doesn't mean we should be exposing ourselves on social media. Or telling people about what we've done. That's dangerous for your worldly affairs and for your akhirah. It's dangerous as well because when you feel comfortable to boast about disobeying Allah Azza wa Jal, the one who is arrogant in this fashion, it is feared that they will not repent. If you're out there boasting, I'm disobeying Allah, I'm in a nightclub, I'm drinking alcohol, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Is that person remorseful? Do they have regret? Do they have shyness? And some people try and spin this. And they say, you know, I'm just keeping it real. No, you're not keeping it real. You're showing that arrogance, and that type of arrogance it led to the shaitan refusing to prostrate when he was commanded. And when he should have repented, he tried to justify his disobedience to Allah Azza wa Jal. No one's keeping it real because you have people, I'm keeping it real. This is where I'm at. No, you're just showing that you have no shyness. No shyness before Allah. And likewise, after Allah Azza wa Jal, also you have no shyness as it relates to the people. And ask Allah Azza wa Jalla that He forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings. Wa jazakumullah khairan.